Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. And we're here to talk about the difference between daytime and nighttime lighting products. And that was one of the findings of Toxic Light is that there is a significant difference between the two. And we're going to start off with the daytime lighting products. And they're commonly called full spectrum light bulbs. And you can see this has got a blue tinted glass on it. It's a halogen light bulb. You can see the capsule of halogen in the middle. And the reason why the glass is blue tinted is to put some blue wavelengths of light in it to mimic daylight. And these are very comparable to outdoor daylight. And the next one is a conventional light bulb. It's full spectrum, has the conventional tungsten filament, and it has a coating on it, which gives it the blue full spectrum light. So to look for these full spectrum light products. They're actually normally clearly marked on the box with a logo and it normally says full spectrum on the box. So that's what you should look for when you're looking for daytime lighting products. But it's important to realize that these full spectrum light bulbs are only meant for daytime use. So you should only use it in your office or your workshop where you spend your daytime. They should not be in your nighttime lighting products. If you put them in with your nighttime lighting products, you may start getting insomnia from the blue light exposure, as that's what blue light exposure does to the human. So nighttime light products, they're typically either clear or the white. So this is a clear halogen light bulb. You see the little capsule of halogen in the middle of it plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet. It gives that a very nice quality of light. Now, they tend to be quite expensive, so most people use these. So this is a soft white light bulb. Uh, it has a conventional filament in the middle of it, and it's inexpensive and gives out a relatively good quality of light. Uh, I have a combination of these two light bulbs in my home, and I get very good sleep patterns around these light bulbs. And the last light bulb is a three-way light bulb. And you can see it's actually got three wattages marked on it, and that is because it can give out three levels of light. So if you do dimming, if you want to do lamp dimming, you should use the three-way light bulbs and you should avoid the electronic lamp dimmers because electronic lamp dimmers generally create dirty electricity and that can bring a whole bunch of health problems with it. So I would recommend that you avoid electronic lamp dimmers and use three-way light bulbs if you dim your lights. And something I should mention about nighttime lighting products is you should aim for the lighting level to be as low as possible because you're not really supposed to be exposed to artificial light of a nighttime. So keep your home dim. And people who have really brightly lit nighttime homes may actually be suffering from preventable insomnia because there's two things that will give you insomnia. Um, one is exposure to too much blue light. The other is exposure to bright light. So both are a bad idea of a nighttime. So that's the difference between daytime and nighttime lighting products. And if you're looking for daytime lighting products, you should be looking for the full spectrum logo and you should avoid full spectrum of a nighttime. So that was the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.